Hey everyone, I want to take a quick minute, or maybe a minute and a half, to show you how you can add fractions on your calculator. So let's go ahead and enter this sum in, so 1 7th plus 5 9 Now for this particular problem, I didn't put parentheses around my fraction because my numerator is just one term, my denominators are just one term. If I ever have like a binomial in my numerator, like x plus 1, I'd, I'd put parentheses around that. So I've got this going on here. I hit enter, and, and that's great, that's the decimal point 6984, but let's say you wanted to see it as a fraction. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit this math button here because your calculator has a function built in for that. So math is one below the alpha key. I hit math and you see the math menu pop up. And there are all sorts of options in here, but the one we're going to take a look at is just this first menu option that says, it's got like a sideways triangle and then frac. So I can either hit the number one or enter. I'm going to hit one. And what that's going to do is it's going to take my previous answer, which was this 0.6984, and it's going to convert it to a fraction for me. So you see that that fraction, if we went through and found a common denominator and all of that stuff, we would have wound up with the answer 44 thirds. And just, just to finish this out, if you hit math again and you see the second option, right, that's going to, oh gosh, Hold up, hold up. If you hit math again, and you click on the second option, not the first one, excuse me, if you hit the second option, it can, it can convert this fraction back into a decimal, if, if you ever wanted to. You don't have to, I just, I just want you to see that option. All right, so with that, now we've got math frac under our belts. I'll see you in a bit, bye.